ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, my name is Yu Ming Chen, and uh, it's uh, very glad to attend this uh, online webinar on uh, the juristic, yeah, oh no problem, on um, uh, some risk uh, assessment on scientific fiction. And today I will give a talk about the cyclic response of loose and is tropically uh, consolidated car carrier sand under a uh, wave loading. And this work is mainly uh, held by um, a PhD student, Zhou Xiaozi in Hohai University. And there are four parts of, of my talk. Uh, for the bigger ground, uh, in the last uh, keynote uh, presentation, Professor Chen gave a very detailed background of this research. For wave loading is also a main type of loading in marine geotechnical engineering. And uh, it can cause some shear failure and the liquefaction of seabed. Uh, for example, some pipeline flotation and uh, oil platform destruction. And uh, carrier sand is a special geotechnical medium as uh, just uh, now, Professor Chen gave us a very detailed uh, the physical properties of the sand. So we also did some, uh, some similar test, but uh, we focus on the wave loading. Uh, Isahala and Tohad from the, the stress path in, a, in infinite seabed is a soccer, something like this one. But uh, um, we even noted that uh, the stress path in a finite seabed, here is infinite, and here is a an finite seabed, is a alipase and uh, lambda, what, which is lambda, lambda is the ratio of the extra stress difference and the torsional shear stress amplitudes. Uh, it depends on lambda value and uh, uh, with depth in the seabed. So uh, in, this talk, uh, in this talk, we did some tests using the LP, uh, elliptical stress path. Now, the progressive wave is a one of uh, important uh, wave loading uh, in the sea, uh, on, on the seabed. Here, the seabed surface and the wave, uh, the free surface on, uh, of the uh, in the ocean and uh, the way we are induced some some complicated stress path in the seabed so firstly we do some research on the theoretical uh, calculation to give to obtain some stress passes different uh, uh, under different conditions and then do some laboratory uh, laboratory element test on the cyclic response. And we also uh, use um, <coughs> some GDS. Uh, here is a table list some hollow cylinder torsional shear test in the past uh, refer references. But the stress path uh, mainly including circular and uh, linear. So uh, the cyclic behavior is uh, anisotropically consolidated uh, carry carrier sand on the elliptical stress paths uh, uh, need to be further studied. The GDS is, uh, yeah, all of <laughs> the apparatus is uh, from foreign country and uh, almost the same. And the mode, uh, the same size distribution is inside the boundary for most liquefiable liquefi uh, soils. And, um, uh, in our test, the main uh, uh, characteristics is the different consolidation path. First one, we consolidated the soil from zero KPA to about 30 KPA and consolidate uh, the consolidation paths were uh, um, infected by the KC. Now, KC is a ratio of the minor principal stress and the major one. So we will found some projection of 
the three dimensional uh, consolidation path. And uh, we will find the different KC in the, for example, here is a sigma three and uh, here is a sigma one. In this uh, space, we are upon we obtain different uh, consolidation path. And we also did some uh, circular and uh, alley, elliptical stress paths. Here we will mainly consider the effect of the lambda. Uh, as, as, as I said before, lambda is a ratio of the actual stress difference and the torsional shear stress aptitudes. And uh, with the different uh, theta. Theta is the phase difference between extra stress difference and the torsional shear stress. So with the different lamina and different uh, theta, we will obtain the different uh, the torsional uh, different stress path. For example, lambda equals to zero is a line. Uh, infinite is a horizontal line, and uh, equals to one is a circle, and the other values because uh, uh, the stress mass will be different uh, elliptical uh, stress patterns. Okay. And here are some the experiment program. We consider the IC, ISO, uh, typically a isotropically consolidated condition and the anisotropically condition. And uh, the DR, the relative density, density is almost the same and uh, PC keeps 100 kPa. And the main, uh, the main influence, the main uh, par parameter we mainly uh, consider is the lambda and the CSR. Lambda means it's a stress ratio, okay. And uh, here's uh, two figures shows the, um, the GDS, the, the apparatus performance. Uh, here is a torsion, uh, torsional stress and uh, extra force. We will obtain the stress path. It's almost, uh, it's going well with idealized uh, path. Okay. And here's some result. For, uh, firstly, we compare the different lambda. Here lambda equal to 0 0.5 and here lambda equal to 2. And we will find that with the IC, isotropical consolidated uh, specimen, the number for failure for liquefaction is 39 circles and 33. It's almost the same. That means in the IC, uh, isotropical uh, consolidated soil, the liquefaction failure is uh, almost the same, even though there are different lamina, different stress, uh, stress ratio, okay. But for any sort of consolidated uh, specimen, we will find the big difference. Here's a lambda equals to 0 0.5 and uh, x to 2 respectively. And we will find the different uh, result here. So for example, is a, mm, Failure number x to 41, and here 68, 68. There were big change, okay? And uh, the main cause of the difference is uh, uh, from the different lambda. Uh, here, the two fig small figures shows the lambda x to 0 0.5 and x to 2, okay? And uh, mm, here, is an, another result in the different CSR. Here, CSR equals to 0 0.3, and the lambda, lambda is uh, 0 0.5 and the 2, respectively. And we will obtain the similar result. For example, the, uh, for lambda equals to 0 0.5, the failure number equals to 22. Here, 95 big change. And here we uh, we uh, prepare some variation of the NF means a failure number numbers, a cycle numbers of a failure with different lambda. We will find the yes, we will find the number of cycle to failure initially decrease with increase of lambda for zero to one. 
decrease and then increase with a few further increase in lambda. And for the IC, IC means isotropic. Uh, and uh, the uh, for for different lambda, we will find almost same. For example, 0 0.5 to uh, here, 0 to uh, infinite number, almost same. But for the uh, uh, anisotropic consolidated soils, we will find the big change from the, um, yes, uh, your significant, significant uh, difference. Okay. And we also uh, compare some variation of cyclic stress with Kc. And uh, the cyclic stress was saturated loose sand increase with a uh, decrease in Kc and with alpha. Now, uh, the sand ex uh, exists a different relationship between cyclic stress and the consolidation state as compared to uh, for some Core sand. Yes, we see some core sand. Uh, we like to compare some test with the uh, core sand. For example, corolla sand, ottawa sand. Uh, and uh, as we know, well, even though it's a core sand, there are different uh, laboratory, uh, different result. And uh, here we showed the terminal peak excess forward pressure. Uh, poor pressure ratio. For we found that the ratio uh, is independent of lambda, lambda and uh, CSR, but increase with increasing of KC consolidation uh, 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 coefficient. Okay, and uh, we also compare the variations of peak is the poor pressure ratio with their work unit volume W is the uh, is the power, huh? Uh, and we found some uh, yes is uh, related to KC but independent to lambda and CSR. In fact, we also did some further research on the judge criteria for some different for some complicated stress paths to judge uh, the stress uh, amplitude is. Uh, induce the liquefaction or not. Yeah. And uh, here's a variation of the shell wall required to reach the failure criteria WF and KC. We found that the big, uh, yes, it's a big uh, influence for KC to the uh, WF. Okay. And uh, uh, yes, it's a, uh, uh, Here's a relation between RUN and the WN is related to the soil characteristics. But uh, this figure in my mind is uh, uh, is a um, fundamental, uh, a primary work. It's, uh, it needs to be further studied huh? because in my mind it's, uh, for, it's only compared with the uh, tubular sand, uh, Professor Yang Jun. Is um gives a range, but uh, it's uh, independent. Yeah. Yes, independent of the case. Okay, okay. Here are some um, conclusions. The failure model of the IC and the AC sand are uh, cyclic mobility and the residual deformation failure, respectively, which is independent of lambda. And uh, the uh, cyclic stress is uh, strongly affected by lambda. Yeah, lambda is a stress ratio. Huh? And the cyclic stress is uh, increased with a decrease of Kc, uh, which is a different form. It's different from the cost end, okay. Uh, and uh, the terminal peak uh, per water per pressure ratio is independent of lambda and CSR. So for this kind of research, um, different uh, people give a different result. <laughs> uh, sometimes we do some similar tests, uh, but use uh, different materials. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, you need to be further study to compare the different, uh, compare our, our test, use uh, a same material. Huh? 
this is my talk. Thank you for your attention.